All right, hello everybody, welcome back to our video. This video is gonna be about uh, how to import delimited text layers from a text file into QGIS. Basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be importing coordinates into um, our QGIS project. So without further ado, let's get started. So on the far left, on the left hand column, we have the names of our coordinates. We have Boise 1, 2, 3, and 4. Next we have our X points. Now the X point is in a format of EPSG 3857. So it's not necessarily a coordinate system using degrees. So our point x's are all going to be quite similar. Same thing for point y. Again, it's just the y point for the same EPSG 3857 coordinate reference system. So we're happy with that. So let's click save. So minimize. Now what we can do is we can, uh, we're gonna open up our layers tab. We're going to add a layer, to limited text layer. And the something you need to do, first of all, you need to select the file name. So our file name was text limiter EPSG 3857. And now we have several things we need to look at. So we have file format, custom delimiters under tab. So that should be there. We have the custom delimiters, it should organize by tab. The second thing we need to look for is that we need to look for a point X. So that our X field is in a point X, which is true, it's corresponding. Our Y field is in point Y, also here. And our geometry coordinate reference system, it's again 3857. It's the same as our uh, saved coordinates up here. And it's the same as our QJS project, our current QJS project. And down here with the sample data. So uh, basically this uh, particular one is buggy. Remember point uh, Boise 3, I can't exactly figure out why it is under so buggy under text, but basically what you can do is that it can sometimes, if you want to get coordinates from uh, QJS, you just select right click, copy coordinates, and you basically get the particular coordinates of the point you've uh, selected. So I think there's something going on here with there. It's sort of funny in a uh, text editor. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to put the y integers and the x integers back in place. So we're going to do 5, 3, 9, 6, 7, 2, 0. And we're going to do negative 1, 2, 9, 3, 8, 0, 5, 2. And we're just going to add them. Now, because I think that the uh, third uh, Boise coordinate was a bit buggy, we only have three coordinate points here um, on the layer. So, again, what we can do is we can look at them plotted on OpenStreetMap. So, we're going to do Quick Services, OpenStreetMap Standard. And you can see they're basically uh, placed in various locations around Boise. There's one to the southwest here, one closer to the center, one to the southeast. We need to do various things with these layers. We go to properties. We have our symbology. We have no symbol, single symbol, categorized, graduate rule base, point cluster. Basically, just gives us some uh, points that we can work with that I've covered in later in uh, earlier videos. And we have our attributes form, points, point one, and so forth. Uh, but yeah, so it basically, just works like any other layer, any other points layer. Once you import coordinates into QGIS. Now, if you have um, some more proper coordinates, like for example, I just sort of pulled them from QGIS and was sort of buggy in the notepad. You can just basically use those and it will probably work for you. Uh, uh, this also works for CSV files from Excel. Um, fortunately, I do not actually have access to proper Excel or any sort of ability to convert uh, Excel files to CSVs. Uh, but yeah, so text works pretty well, as you've seen. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.